G'day and welcome back to Dairy Air Farms for another how-to video. We make how-to videos all the time, ranging from the very basic principles to more advanced principles in Farming Simulator 22. If you want to learn more and know how to do things or improve what you're doing, Go ahead and subscribe and ring that bell so you're notified each time a new video comes out. The purpose of today's video is how to create a new field or how to combine two fields. The principles are the same. Now this video is cross-play compatible, so what I, we're going to go through will work both on console as well as PC. And all the equipment is also cross-play compatible. So I can hear your first question, which is, why would I want to either create a new field or combine two fields. Well, if we look at the map, and I forgot to turn auto save off again. Um, there's a lot of wasted space around this field. So we might want to extend it and we need to plow a plow to do that. Or if we purchase this area down here, field 73 it comes with a nice wide open space there that's an excellent area to add an extra field to give us some more farmable farmland right now it's just meadow grass which has its own advantages but we'll talk about that in a different video but if you're going to be planting field 73 well you might as well plant this area and double almost triple your harvestable acreage. Like I said, the principles are the same, but what we're gonna do here is we're gonna combine field 53 and 54 so that it's a good sized field for harvesting. There's quite a bit of wasted space as you can see between these fields. Depending on the crop, that can make a lot of difference, or it might not make that much difference. So just for reference purposes, the field area or the usable area of this field is 4.3 acres, and this one is 4.56, which gives us almost nine acres of usable space between the two fields. I say just for reference so we can compare when we are done at total acreage. The simplest way to do this is use a plow, which you probably already have on your farm anyway. Line your plow and your tractor up with the edge of the field, hit the Y key to allow create fields, and then lower your plow. And just go straight ahead. And there we go. That's the first part. Now. now just to make sure we have enough room for our plow, we're going to do the same here. If you want to keep tidy edges, this is why I'm saying do, depending on the size of the plow, one or two passes.
because we can now go down side of this field right about here and our plow isn't going to create an uneven edge like it would if we started say here with only one row you can see that the rear two blades would dig into the grass and you'd get a little bit of a a jet out in the field. Workers like square fields, they don't like uneven fields. So then you just lower your plow and you follow down the side of the field. Until you get to the other end. And at the other end, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Now we've come to the other end of the field and I stopped just so the plow was in line. And you can kind of see what I mean about the plow leaving that little sort of a, uh, a triangle shape, which is why I recommended you make the two strips so it doesn't leave that triangle shape in the, um, in the grass at the other end of the field. Oh, was a little bit off there, so I'm going to try that again. There we go. For some reason, it just does not want me to plow this part together. There we go, nicely lined up. Now, if you don't mind using mods, there's a great one on Mod Hub. Again, console compatible. It's the Lizard 6MT slash 9MT subsoiler. It's really a plow. I don't know why they bothered even calling it a subsoiler, but it's plowed found under the plowing category. Same principle applies. Press Y, drop the plow to the ground, and away you go. I like this because it is nine meters wide which is slightly, well, quite a bit larger than the largest plow in the game, which is six meters. So you gain an extra three meters. And believe it or not, those three meters add up fairly quickly. So once you've got your ends done, I just plowed straight down the middle of the field. And away we go. There is a Create Fields mod for both console and PC. It's a pack that comes with various different cultivators. The reason I don't like that is because it uses cultivators and you are still left with the needs plowing state. If you have plowing state turned on. So you will still have to come down the middle at some point if you don't want to lose the penalty, the 15% bonus you gain for plowing. As you can see, that's not applicable here. It counts as plow. All right, so what I just did here was I did the center of my field and there was a little bit of flat ground on the east side of the field or the left side as we're looking at it right now. And it's not interfering with anything. It was just basically left as meadow grass. So I went ahead and I created, uh, I actually think I did a pretty good job and created a nice straight line. Let's check it out quickly. 
I would create a, a, another one down here, maybe using the half the field. Actually, you know what? I have room. I will probably go ahead and do that off camera, but add another line straight down here. And that will extend my field even further. Okay, so we now have 4.56 acres available in this field. Of usable land. And I think, uh, I don't think it's actually measuring. I think, sorry, I'm using a mod that's supposed to tell me the size of the field. And I don't think it's actually calculating um, it's just calculating what giants put into the map as the designated lines. But trust me, this, you can sow this, you can harvest it. It will work just the same as any other field. No ifs, ands, or buts. The only thing is... And a worker will recognize it. No problem. The only thing is down here, if I was to plow this area here, if we owned it, it would not have, because it's separated by this, it would not have a field number associated with it. Not a big deal. Like I said, you can still assign an AI worker to it. You just can't take advantage of... Oh, what's... Telling a worker to go to a specific field... It won't recognize it as a number. It'll just recognize it as a... As a field. So it's... Like I said, don't worry, it's fully harvestable, it's fully plantable. There will just be no number assigned to it for statistical purposes. And I wish that's something that Giants would allow us to do, is once we created a new field, we could add a number to it. Anyway, that's how you either extend fields or you create new fields... Fairly simple, fairly basic, but definitely, you know, will give you much more usable room. What I've done on my other map is I have extended this field so it's square all the way down here and here. And that's made a nice addition to that field. Can't do too much with this field because of the lake. But all these fields down here, I've combined into one, and it's made a nice, decent-sized field. So instead of the worker having to work, or you having to work each field independently, you just now work it all as one. Anyway, like I said, I hope you found this information useful. There will be more how-to videos coming. So please like and subscribe. A like never hurt anyone. And ring that bell to be notified when the next how-to video comes out. Thanks again for watching.